Okay, hello guys, shalom. Uh, this is a new type of video I'm doing. I want to show you uh, what I'm working on. And I'm working on a redesigning of the second temple built by Herod the Great. I had a model of uh, the second temple um, before, but um, as I was making it uh, back in the day, I was not paying so much attention to proportions. And this time I want to make a model which will be uh, according to the dimensions we have on the Temple Mount. And to do that, I have a platform, you see, over here, which is uh, the same size, I mean the same proportions as the one that is on the Temple Mount. So I had to actually redo everything because all the buildings were designed to the previous platform that I had and they would just not fit. But it's a good idea because uh, this time I'm trying to really make uh, the second temple beautiful. I'm making a lot of uh, uh, changes and implementations to the things I learned over the years. Uh, so here is the, you can see I'm almost done. Uh, with the main temple area there's still some buildings i have to build here over here uh, for the priest uh, basically i need to do the cord of the priests which is here i have done the cord of the women um, the main area for the gentiles is pretty much complete i still need to finish the royal stoa uh, which is this part i will have to design it really beautiful I have all the buildings uh, south of the temple ready. Uh, also, I have the Hulda gates uh, ready. Uh, this was the two entrances uh, to the temple from the south. So he would be the city of David over here. I have everything ready almost for the west of the temple. So this is the Robinson's Arch. You can see part of it today uh, if you go to the Davidson Archaeological Park. Here's the Wilson's Arch. And uh, if, if you want to know, like, uh, for orientation where we are, this part over here would be the Western Wall. So this is the part which can be visible today where you go to the Western Wall. Uh, so as you can see, the temple was huge. Mm. This is the Antonia Fortress over here. So there's still a lot uh, for me to do, but it's starting to look nice. So this is the view of the design mode, you know, where I can make new things. I'll show you how it's done. Basically, you create something and then you use the, the tools you have here to design everything. Uh, of course, it takes practice, you know, you can uh make something quickly you know so there's many different tools you can use to create uh things um i'm using actually a, a plugin which is uh, which i had to buy there is also the one that uh, is offered by this program i'm using unity engine in which you can make uh, a lot of things unity engine is basically an engine created to design games but i'm using it to create this model this whole scenery you know this is a huge scenery you can see how huge it is you can really close up to to everything and see you know the even the smallest details over here uh, you can, for example, let me show you something I made for another video one one time. This is the you know the, the the upper room I made for the Last Supper. You can go inside even and see what's inside. You know, so this this model is huge. I mean, it's the scenery uh, is about 180 gigabytes uh, of data so there, because uh, it's not only the design it's the assets that some of them i bought most of the things i made because you know there is no assets of the second temple you need to make it from scratch so uh, i did it and this is uh for example uh, we can click on play here 
And if we do that, uh, you can see how it looks in uh, in a play mode. And a play mode uh, uses also certain filters, which make uh, the scenery even more uh, beautiful. Uh, so you can design, you can change the weather also. If you go over here, uh, another asset that I'm using. Uh, and uh, here you can change, you know, certain things of the day and night. So uh, this is a really powerful tool that I'm using. So, well, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. This is the first time I'm doing this. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you would like more such updates from the development of the mm, of the models from biblical times. I have a lot of models, a lot of sceneries that I created. Thank you very much for all your support. This has really been uh, great for me that some people decided to support me because I'm actually uh, sometimes buying stuff like tools that I need to create. So any help from you is helpful and I really appreciate it. And I will, I will keep you updated on future developments. So have a great day and Shalom.